Fine. Good? <laughs> All right. What's up, brothers and sisters of the leaf? You know, I shot some pictures of this the other day. Um, I shot a price out there into someone's comment. I kind of wanted to show you what's different from mine and why I started doing this. I started doing this 20 years ago when it became to building humidors. I've been actually woodworking with power tools since I was five. Um, I grew up in the industry because that's where my father was. Um, so now my hobby is actually a hobby job. Um, if I were to pre-build this um, and sell it to just somebody, it would actually go for $1,989.64. That is calculated to the T on actual material cost. If it were a custom order for this, it would cost at least um, $2,250 for an extra buffer on materials because once I quote, they do not go up. If I make a mistake, I start over. However, what we have here, as you can see, this wraps consecutively. And as we go around, you can see that it wraps consecutively. We have nice solid brass hinges. They cost $30 a piece. All right, now as we open this humidor, we actually, if you followed my YouTube videos, have loosened that seal. Sorry, it's on a rolling cart. We've loosened that seal. It's around 70% humidity right now in the shop. And as you can tell, I mean, when you put it down, it does not set down. You actually have to push on it. You actually have to open it. Um, that creates an actual seal for the barrier. Now, as we look closer into it, so go ahead and put that camera right on in there. We've got dental molding um, for your dividers. Okay, this is solid one quarter inch Spanish cedar floor sealing everything. Now, the way that I do this is I actually spread a waterproof glue. Uh, believe it or not, it takes me a full bottle of glue to build one humidor on average. Um, and I create several different barriers so that you actually have a box within a box. Um, it, it creates it to where it is very low maintenance. Um, I have um, actually fixed LE Blues for people, whether they were out of warranty and or um, parts are no longer available. Um, I've sold to LE Blue collectors that, that consider the work high quality. Um, I, I've been doing it for a long time specifically because I want low maintenance. I don't want to have to baby these things. Um, I don't want to have to open it every, you know, 14 days and check my Bovita packs. The way this is designed, depending on your climate and seasonal changes, you should only have to check on this puppy every three to four months. And under the right conditions, you can actually go six months with two 50 gram packs in here at whatever percent you want. And they're going to stay stabilized because this solid Spanish cedar is going to soak up all that humidity. It's going to act to prevent atmospheric bounce. Um, if you want to buy it, you can buy it. Um, you guys have a special price. Like I said, uh, $1,500. Um, that is a BOTL, SOTL discounted labor rate. When I do work for you guys, I'll be very transparent. My labor rate is only $15 for you guys. If you look up how much goes into something like this or watch my YouTube video, you will know this is 50 hours hands-on from start to finish, and that's hands-on. That's not me pill farting around waiting for lacquer to cure or anything like that. It's actually me physically touching this and or doing something with it. Um, now, I will put dividers in here before I ship it. Um, I actually do something different than a lot of the other companies do. where They might put velvet on theirs. I actually paint the bottom, and I spray it with velvet gives it a nice appeal it is handmade 100 percent handmade this cannot be replicated i don't care how hard someone tries you have a unique piece this is literally one of one you will never see another one like it because it is not a veneer um i will tell you that the three most popular brands are veneered and their actual wood is actually acrylic um i have cut open into them a couple people have actually seen me do it. Uh, I love them as decorations. They are beautiful. I do use my Prometheus, but I baby my Prometheus. When I put one of these on my shelf, and trust me, I have a couple badass ones on my shelf. 
I don't have to baby them. Actually, I think I probably should check on one. It's been about eight months. But you know what? It's an aging box for me. And therefore, I let them age because I like my anejos old and crusty. Well, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, though, hit me up. This is what I do. I've got like 14 baller humidors going down. Um, I'm not saying my work's the best. I'm just throwing it out there to you guys. If you guys want a unique piece, you guys do get the discounted rates. Um, this specific one I can do for 1500 because I've calculated the exact boards that I used. That does not include the six inch off fall that I'll have to find something to use it for. That doesn't include, you know, scrap this and scrap that. It's literally whatever I use to put in this from the $30 hinges to the $60 worth of the lacquer thinner mix that I use to the paint and the only the ounces of velvet that I used. I want to be able to pass that discount on to you guys. Like I said, it's not perfect. It is not laser cut, but it is a beautiful heirloom piece. And I promise you, you will enjoy the low maintenance of these. That is why I started building them in the first place. I started out with that first CI junk humidor. Thought my life would change when I went up to a Daniel Marshall. Thought my life would change when I went to Prometheus. Thought my life would change all the time. And never could I find one. So, 20 years ago, I just started building them. Thanks for watching. Peace.